along, buddy, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Soul Link with me, Jake Spins, and Kevin. Yo, what's up? Yeah, and uh, today I'm accidentally opening menus. I just went to pick up my, my Pro Controller, hit CR, and then just, just finger mashed. Okay, cool. Well, that was th the first clean ep intro of this <laughs> series, and I just messed it up. Anyway... <laughs> We are now going to be jumping into Route 222 because we finished not the second gym, but the seventh gym in the last episode. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, we we like grunted out. We did grunt out. We we went yeah, crazy we, with the we grunts. Grunted out. I traded my legendary for like good. three hours. Yeah. Total time spent was like two hours and 40 because i did recently record it or edit it so it was a rather daunting task also i have the pre-evolution of gastrodon right um yeah you have a shellos i just ran into a buizel okay. or floatzel so i i ran into the same combo actually the buizel and shellos on round 213 we got so yeah this is a invalid pair at the moment so we both have to recounter yeah that is completely fine I really hope I don't get another. Well, I think my my other Boizel is still alive anyway. Yeah, the only like so. basic encounter you can still get is like a Star Aravia, Starly. I think otherwise everything else is pretty much off limits. Are there are there still just straight up not more Pokemon that we can catch? Oh, definitely not. Bro, uh, we're almost done check, with the check. game. Uh, we have Where that. How do you encounter like half of these Pokemon? Um, there's one we can get in the daytime here. In the grass, but it's not day, obviously. Yeah. Um, everything else looks like it's invalid. So oh my we can maybe get a Wingle, but I think you already have a Wingle, right? Yes. I already have a Wingle. Um, we can do fishing eventually once we go to Super Rod. There's a couple things we can get, um, with like the good rod, Super Rod type of thing. But yeah, otherwise, no, nothing. So we can just skip the route and just go keep moving forward. Right, that is fine. There are fishermen by the beach, though. There are, and maybe one of them has the Super Rod, in which case then we can come back to this route like right away. Yeah. Oh, Dragon Claw, let's go. That's so nice. And I can confirm that the first one has a Magikarp. Okay. I'd like to see that. I like to see that. I don't have an answer to water types, I just realized. Like not like a clean one. Ah. Um because I lost my grass knot. Uh, I could put grass on something else though, probably, so. Um but yeah, I'm a little concerned if there's like a crazy water type that we're gonna run into in the future, but Otherwise, I, I think I have good type coverage overall. Also, the Pokemon here are a lot higher level, so I think yeah, now I am, the game has gotten real. The game has gotten real now. Yeah. Well, I'm also going to try to start with Gapintha, Gapintha and Mumtaz, so I can try to try to level them up more. Yeah. Which is also going to be nice because they're a lot closer to the level of what the Pokemon are on this route. Yeah, like I have a lot of like high 50s, well, not high 50s, like mid 50s, mid low 50s. Um, but yeah, my Garchomp is leveling up right now, level 42, I wanna say. Um, but I've been switch training it since, the, since I got it pretty much, so. Still a bit of a grind, we're getting there. Yeah, once you, once you get that Garchomp, it's it's gonna be amazing for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, full restore is decent. Okay. I like how you're just like, I'm gonna fight the trainers. I'm just like, I'm gonna explore this wild grass until I get every item in it. <laughs> well, they're all fishermen, so I'm like, maybe one of them has the super rod. Yeah, let me know. Let me know. I wish I had better answers to water types. I would totally go for it, but I don't really. So, like, I, I'd rather just not risk it until I at least have, you know, a good good ground to stand on. 
And it's been a couple days since we recorded, so... I don't want to... just polluting the entire the fish supply, so... <laughs> Except for Gyarados. That anytime Gyarados shows up, I'm switching to Luxray. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, Luxray's probably that the I'm answer. not risking. Storm Drain? Okay, I'm running. <laughs> I wish my guy had Storm Drain. That would have been so good. Is that a move or did you just see a Storm Drain on the on the ground and you're like, nope, I, I can't handle this? No, uh it's an ability. Uh, it absorbs water and gives the Pokemon extra special attack. So basically, in, in vulnerability to water, which is just crazy. Ooh. There's no healing station here either, so we have to go like all the way back. Oh, it's a bummer. I'll just use potions then. Dang. Take too long. You know, if, if my Shellos had that, that would have been so good. That's okay. That does sound really nice. So you said you had some insights on this next gym. I'm very excited to learn what typing it is. Yeah, my so my one friend told me that it is an electric type gym. Ooh, I can I can handle that pretty well, I would say. Yeah. Cuz he was he was looking at my team and he was like, "I feel like a lot of your your team is going to have trouble with it." Yeah, cuz you don't have a ground type, right? I do not. That is a slight concern. I have yeah. two, technically. So I don't, like, Luxray is honest, has honestly just been my big answer for, for Electric. Just because it's, it's not effective, but Luxray does not pull his punches at all. Yeah. Or, sorry, I guess I should, I should call them by their names. Olorake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I, Olorake I does not pull their punches. I feel like so, you changed that pronunciation again. I mean, that's just me. I did. I definitely me. did. <laughs> I'm getting some weird Mandela effect. Maybe that was the name the whole time. Who knows? Honestly, I never remember how I pronounce oh, it. I like the rich I, wa I wanted to. They can just take their money. Okay, I'm notice a, noticing a pattern here. What is the pattern? They all start with like a Magikarp. I'm at least seeing different fish though. That's good. Yeah, so it's it's been a nice sushi bar. This one just used Aqua Ring. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that does like nothing. Yeah, Aqua Ring is fairly useless. It just heals you a little bit. I'm yeah. Pretty sure. It was low enough to where I could kill it with Shadow Claw. Yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, it's a pretty bad move, I'll be honest. Yeah, I'm not concerned about a Feebas either. Yeah, I mean, not until it's like a Melodic. Oh yeah, is that is that the one that turns into like the the pretty like white serpent thing? Yes, very true. But it's very as hard to catch. Tell, as you can tell, I'm a Pokemon master. Yeah, the white serpent thing. Yeah, a little pink on it, a little, uh, little blue, I think. Okay, yeah, all of the fishermen are actually just trainers. Okay, very good for me to know, because then I yeah. just don't have to talk to them, which is great. Are there any surf encounters, by the way? Yes. Um, uh, wait, hold up. Like none, that we don't have? None that we can get. I was looking at fishing. The only thing we can do is fishing pretty much. Or in the daytime we can get a chat hot. A chat hot? Yeah, it's pretty worthless. What the heck is a chat hot? It is a bird that does not evolve. Um it's like um oh, oh. I can't I can't say what it's like because you haven't gotten a foreign thing. Never mind. Um But yeah, there's there's some similar archetypes where it's just like a bird that doesn't evolve. Here you go. What Pokemon's mm. it? Um, been low punny. Okay. Ah, uh, a low punny. I imagine Fern is fine against a low punny. Okay. Well, I just took out a Gyarados with a Gapintha because thankfully it just used Brian and Rain Dance. No, oh, it's Miracoat. 
I hate that. Okay, I have a feeling this dude is just gonna have Gyarados, so I'm gonna switch to Luxray. And that means free Thunder, baby! Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, I mean, the Rain Dance is just going to Luxray and you win every time. Yeah. That is very nice. What would be insane is if I could just give Luxray Rain Dance, but I highly doubt that. We could set it up with another Pokemon, probably. I think yeah. your Buy Barrel would be a decent setup for it. Because it's pretty bulky, it can take a hit. That is true. But also, yeah, I don't know what your type coverage is on that thing, if it's worth throwing something like that on it. At, at this point, Buy Barrel is just a whatever the heck I want to put on it. It's it's my hodgepodge Pokemon right now. Mmm, hodgepodge. I dig it, I dig it. Yeah. My next Pokemon name is going to be hodgepodge. Or maybe Hodge and Podge is our little combo there. Yeah, and if it's a father, Hodge Papa. Hodge Papa. I dig it. Hodge Papaya. Even. I don't think I've ever had a papaya before. Oh my god, there's there's somebody in Oh god dang it, you're a fisherman and you're alone. You don't want to fight. Awesome. Um but yeah, there's there's somebody in Fire Emblem Encore. Or sorry, Fire Emblem Engaged that says Haya Papaya, and I absolutely love it. Oh that's amazing. I can't wait to play that it's, game. It's honestly like the cutest thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the person that I decided that they're gonna be my quote unquote marriage candidate in that game. Mm, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. I was gonna go with somebody else, but their entire personality is just I love fairy tales. I love dragon tales. Like, she literally that's meets good. somebody, and she's like, this is one of my fairy tales, and that's just all she says. And I'm like, you're nice and all, but, like, I don't know. Yes. It just seems like it could easily get a bit stale. Mmm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like how you're, like, considering all the factors. You're like, okay, with this person, you know, like, they smell kind of bad. I don't want to be around that that long. This person talks too much about fairy tales. I mean, but, you know, high up a pie. I don't, I don't Absolutely. get to have these choices in real life. Oh no! No. So I'm that. gonna have these choices in Fire Emblem. Go for it, hey man, go for it. I, I think it's impressive. I, I really do. Like I, I, uh, when it comes to like the romance stuff in games, I almost never touch it. Um, and that's a part of the games that like, like, you know, like Persona, for example, has that element. You know, Harvest Moon has that element. Things like that. I don't even touch that part of the game. But, like, I'm missing out, you know what I mean? I think I'm missing out. That's wild. That's one of my favorite parts of games. Yeah, no, not not for me, not for me. But I'm glad it's an option. You know. I never seen no, no more options. Yeah. Speaking of options, we're going to need a new one, because I just lost my Gastrodon. Kidding. <laughs> but imagine... <laughs> My goodness. Imagine how, how, how scared I could have made you there. I don't even remember what that's hooked to. Is that the uh, the Gyarados one? It is. <laughs> oh, I would have been so mad. That's oh. the one. That's the one that I, I'm always threatening you with now. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. Did I, did no, I no, curse this? No, we're fine. We're oh, fine. okay. I thought, we cur I thought I cursed this for a second. Uh, you almost did. Gapintha's at 35 HP because oh, no. Earth Power is super effective to it. Yeah, poison. poison and I, I didn't realize that because I'm not well equipped for poison types. Yeah, yeah, poison is weak. I learned poison. I learned some of poison recently from Scarlet because I had a, a poison type on my team. Oh, but I can't. Uh, Gyarados. Gerd... Gerd... Yeah, Gyarados. Because it's it's fine against ground. It's rock that it has problem with. Because rock is just ground but flying. Yes. Well. Which is so silly. Well, well, like yeah. the way this this game treats it, like ground is 
what's currently on the earth rock is if you just throw the earth mm. i i i guess yeah just think about it I mean... when, when like when rock tomb hits you it's literally just flying earth yeah i mean there's things like stone like uh stonehead i think you know like that's like not like a rock being thrown it's just using your skull wait is stone stonehenge is rock uh, I think so, Stone Edge, yeah. Pretty oh, I sure. accidentally said Stone Hedge. Stone Hedge. Hedge. Oh my goodness. I think I, I said that I, I think I said the name wrong too, so you're fine. Um Oh, you have Storm Drain, perfect. Yeah, Gastrodon is a nightmare. Maybe Gastrodon doesn't well, have it, obviously, but Okay. This sucks. This sucks. This is just a random trainer right now. Are you fighting a sailor at the moment? Yep. Yeah, I'm fighting the sailor. And one. it forces you to do it. I I have no options against this guy. Oh no. Like I'm I'm gonna throw in Carlissa, but like. Yeah, because the electric wouldn't work. The water doesn't work. I can't put in Castor. Can't put in Castor. Your scun tank is low. Yeah. Because um, apparently, who's your six? That Pokemon? is also bad against it. What am I missing? Uh, I think I'm gonna. Bu oh, bi barrel. Like, I'm currently using bi barrel. Yeah, bi barrel's your best bet. Because there's no way mum. I feel like mum Taz just is gonna not be my best option either. Yeah, it has ancient power, maybe. Has a ground type move, maybe, and it has obviously water type moves. I can confirm it has ancient power. That's why I'm yes. having these problems. Yeah. Okay, well, he has one more Pokemon. Machoke. Machoke, yeah. That's not what you want to see. No, okay. No, it never is. Uh, I'm going to go Earth Power. Should what? just be fine. Okay. Well, Lux Luxray should be fine against a Machoke, right? I don't see an issue. I mean, unless it has, like, like, Earthquake, but I don't think a Machoke would have, like, Earthquake. That feels odd to me. It feels very strange. I mean, my only other options currently are Castor and Mumtaz, and I I don't feel like those are Pokemon that should go against Machoke. Oh, it will leave the target with a burn, but it's only 50%. Inferno is interesting. I'm not a special attacker, though. Uh, but I'm just going to throw out Thunder, Thunder and Prey. A 50% chance to burn. Oh, the Thunder hits! The thunder kills! Let's go! Let's keep Stomp. Let's remove Agility. Mm. No, let's leave Agility. Let's remove Stomp, I think. No, Agility's so slow. Oh. Yeah, I think Inferno could be useful. Okay, well, thankfully, I went the lo I went the lower route, so I don't have to worry about going around to heal, because the next area should be a town. Yes. Ideally. Yeah, I didn't even do the low route, and we're both getting there at the same time. It's kind of fun. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Just how... Um... Oh, yeah, shocking. The gym is shocking. So, definitely... Your friend was very right about that. Uh, hello, sir. Ronald McDonald. He really is Ronald but Honestly, this is Ronald in his, like, early... Oh, he's one of the Elite Four. Oh, my God, really? Yeah, he just said. Bruh. I was going to say his, like, early rebellious stage. Like, before he went full clown, before he made a successful fast food restaurant. Because mm -hmm. everybody knows that normal people did not make McDonald's. Ronald built it from the ground up. I think it's just his edgy son. If I had to guess. I, I don't know how I feel about the idea of Ronald McDonald having a child. Hey, it kind of rhymes. Must be true. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's better than the Burger King having a child. Because that would be cursed. Oh, for sure. What if they had a child together? No, no. Oh, that sounds <laughs> horrifying. Okay, let me check if... I don't think we can go in the water here, right? I don't think so. I think... Like, Ronald McDonald, the idea of him having a child is already mortifying. But, like, Bert... 
the Burger King and anybody having a child just sounds like traumatic. Yeah. No, I. Oh, this is a really cool city, by the way. Oh my gosh. I'm so impressed. Okay, I need. I need to just stock up on potions at this point. I'm just buying 14 super potions. Yeah. Just to have them. How confident are you in taking on the gym here? Because, like I said, I feel decent. I have two ground types. One's a little under leveled, but like that's not the end of the world. Um, and the other one I, is incredibly strong, so I'm not worried too much about that one at all. I'm in, I'm in a weird spot. Yeah. I. Because I don't feel I don't feel terrible because I don't have a lot that electric is going to be strong against. Mm. But I also don't have any answers to it. Like Carlissa is not going to be able to help me in this battle. Or Gyarados. Uh, Gar yeah, Gyarados is not going to be able to help me either. Uh, in general, Castor should realistically be fine, but not super effective. Yeah. Uh, Mumtaz might be my best option, but it's only level 41. So that's a little nerve-wracking. found this out recently. Psychic types. It reflects the three things that like people have like phobias of, so it's bug, dark, and um, ghost. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, I know. I never realized that till like just like the other day. I saw it on like a TikTok or whatever. I was like, oh wow. That's that's actually really cool. Yeah, it is really neat. Very awesome stuff. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna help me remember it too. Yeah, like that's such a good device. I mean, I knew them. Like the bug one was the one that I learned like most recently. So that's like the hardest one to remember. Yeah, and it, like steel only resists electricity, right? That's like it's not like it's super effective against it. Steel is, um, yeah, steel is not super effective against electric i don't believe it sounds right the only thing that's super effective against electric is um ground that's it okay i could i could theoretically give one of my pokemon dig not a bad idea uh do you want to look at the pc maybe that there's... might not be the worst idea but i also don't know what's important for you to keep at the moment if i keep my if we keep Gyarados in on your side, we're fine. Okay. Everything else is open. Um, especially like um like I can't use Gwen and I can't use Fern. Yeah, because Fern Fern is basically completely useless. Yes. Fern okay, has I been forgot... useless these past like five gyms, because it's just been weaknesses upon weaknesses. I forgot the last episode I put the legendary and Sean Philip together because I was like He's dead. Where did he go? And I was like, oh, right. Yeah, they're in the nursery together, yeah. Oh, singing like, singing hymns. Okay. Uh... Okay, so we could do... Well, do you have any ground types? Let me see. I do have an Onyx, but it's level, like, 32. Because at yeah. this point, like, my Bibarel and your Staravia are not going to be useful. Mm -hmm. at, in, the, in this gym. Agreed. So we can leave them out. Sure. Okay. And then you're saying so, you're saying Weasel Shellos for you? So either that or Onyx Riolu. It really comes down to which pair you think is going to be more useful. I don't, I don't imagine you'll have trouble with um, with four Pokemon. Yeah, I, I should be fine. I'm going to put Castor in front, though. Yeah, I mean, my Gastron will carry me probably through most of these, so... Uh, okay, well, I'll just use Waterfall. Oh, he doesn't fight. Okay. Whoopsies. Oh, you have Water Absorb. God dang it. Yeah, some Gastrodons. Um, is there anything else with Water Absorb? Maybe the... Uh, well, I'm, I'm currently... Oddly enough, I'm currently fighting a uh, Mantike. Hmm, okay. Well, it's fine. If I don't get confused and my hurricane goes off, 
Nope, I got confused. <laughs> well, thankfully, it's only using Bubble Beam on me, and it's just one Pokemon in this in this fight. So yeah. He got confused again. Gyarados! <laughs> I'm currently in yellow HP because this Gyarados has not been able to attack a single turn. Oh my gosh. Just heal up. Heal up. It's all good. No need to risk anything there. That's currently what I'm doing. I'm just extremely annoyed because this should not be a problem right now. It's a freaking man type. But because I, I started with my Rapidash, I had that, that issue. Okay, let's try this again. It snapped out of confusion. Thank you. And the hurricane hit. And did not do that much damage, but that's fine. He was made. Thank God it's only using Bubble Beam. Yeah. Honest to God. Because, like, Waterfall would just be the best thing for me to use, but it has Water Absorb, so I can't. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. Okay. Tuber. Just turn around. I wonder if these tubers are um, just YouTubers. Hey, welcome to my vlog. And they just happen to have, like, tubes around them. I'm not gonna lie. If I if I was in the Pokemon world, I would I would watch vloggers a lot more. Because that, that seems like a, a good world to be a vlogger in. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's like, it's like a, a quarter of what Pokemon Go tried to do. With its uh like promotional stuff, but, like that was like so cool to see like those trailers that they like really hyped you up for that game, and then the game was like, yeah, we're not really that cool, but it was still, it was still yeah. rad. I enjoyed the game, but well, Go Go's main problem is that after 300 Pokemon, you have to pay for storage, which doesn't sound that bad until you realize like they just throw Pokemon at you. Sure, yeah. And it's like I'm not I'm not gonna pay for more storage and then you know I, I'm not gonna play this enough to wanna pay for it. Like it's a free to play game, but Yeah. Those things are so easy to sink money into. It is not a collect them all game. It is a get the ones you want type of game. Unless you want to pay like upwards of hundreds of dollars. Um, which I do not want to do. Yeah. I I personally do not. I've already paid plenty of money in Mario Kart Tour, and I've already had many regrets with paying money in Mario Kart Tour. <laughs> so, I mean, granted, it gave me PD Piranha, but then immediately after, they got rid of all the gacha elements and then made it very easy to get PD Piranha. So, like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm I'm not upset. Yeah. Not at all. Oh, it's a flying type, right? For Golts. Just use Ancient Power. Wow, I got Confuse Raid, but hit it first try. Nice. That was a crit too? What the heck? Why is Mantike so strong? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's not even evolved yet. I know, right? Like 10 levels higher than a super effective move. It's like, nope. Maybe it's just, like, really good special defense or something? I don't know, mate. I I love that both of us had issues with a man type, though. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think it's probably the same freaking man type. But... Oh, definitely. I mean, he just has that. But, like, I'm shocked by that. Yeah. Genuinely, very, very shocked by that. Um... Like, it's not even concerned about our Pokemon dying. It's just it being annoying. Yeah. Psych Up's not good. Dude, I, I wish I was a sailor. Yeah. What a life. Dude, I... I would hate being on a boat. Mainly because I can't swim. 
Yeah. That would be a problem. If you could not swim, and you know, I, I could see why you wouldn't yeah. want to be on a boat. Are you allowed to even be on a boat if you can't swim? I mean, probably, right? I mean, life jackets. But, like, probably, right. yeah. probably if it's, like... Well, I think it would depend. Because I think you're allowed to go on, like, a cruise ship. But I would assume that if you were to go on... A, live on a boat in the Navy, you would actively need that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. Oh, yeah, if you're in the Navy, I would have... I, I, think, I think swimming would probably be part of the... The training, at the very least. This is a very interesting move set on this bar boat. Yeah. It has... It has... Water gun. Water pulse. Rest and snore. Yeah, I just ran into a remoraid with bullet seed, apparently. Oh. Yeah, that, that seems like a weird thing for a fish to have. Yeah. This is quite strange. Well, it makes sense because he turns into like octillery, which is like a uh, octorock, basically. That's what turns into octillery. Yeah. Wow, I just thought octillery was a standalone thing. No, no, it's a it's an evolution. That's wild. Yeah. You know, it's really cool. I love octillery. It's rad. Oh, apparently Tam Fling is here too. Yeah, I talked to her already. It was very nice. I mean Fling's not that useful, but it can yeah. be good if we get like um like a really like good hold item for that type of thing. Is it just that you throw the hold item or something? You throw it and then they they equip it. So like if you have like a negative hold item, it can be really good to throw at like a, a Pokemon. Like um the one po the one could be really useful is um Iron Ball, which lets ground type moves, um, which lets uh, any ground type using a ground type move on a flying type to actually hit instead of um, be immune. That's what that's for. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So they're negative effects, but you can throw them to the other Pokemon. And, like there are other hold items that do that type of thing too, like Lagging Tail and stuff like that. I was wondering about that. Yeah, so it's like, it's like what playing, is the point of this? Switcheroo, I think, is a Gen 6 move that, like, Inke gets. Malamar. So, there's mm. there's a couple of Pokemon that utilize it. But yeah, it's rare. I probably don't need to, but I'm going to Dragon Dance. Can't believe this is the first time I'm seeing a low punny. Mm, yeah, I ran into that low punny already. Yeah. It, uh... It's very interesting. Uh, I didn't realize Benary was a Gen 4 until just I, when I saw that Pokemon. I was like, oh, yeah, right. Like, if there's resemblances to an animal, like, I'm down. But, like, if it's just, like, a, yo, I'm, I'm a bunny rabbit, it's like, eh, I don't really care. I kind of like the ridiculousness of that. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ran into, um... It's a pretty early one, I think. I'm pretty sure it's early. Uh, the Flamingo. Yes, I, I have I that on my it. team. Oh, I hate it with a burning I, passion. I love it because, like, it's so it's so silly that it's just a Flamingo. It's literally one letter off the name of it it is, everything. Ugh, oh, it's it a is. horrible design, like, name-wise, too. But just the fact that like it, it's straight up just a flamingo and it's not even ashamed about it there's just something that i i really adore about that oh i despise it i despise it oh yeah i mean that's just that's just my train of thought like magikarp's cool because it's like it's a fish but like it's not like a like i don't think it's like any anatomically like just this type of fish you know it's just yeah. like a generic or general like yo i'm a fish kind of thing and obviously gear is amazing so well i think i think the other difference though is i just when i pick pokemon i pick it based on if it's cute or not mm -hmm. and i also i also like the idea like um i i don't like a lot of gen 7 
for Sun and Moon. But the fact that one of the Pokemon, Rockruff, looks like my dog Fred, I love that. Mm -hmm. And I realized from Gen 5, Lillipup is probably the closest Pokemon to Lily that I that I've seen. I just, I just like that. I like those I two. Mean, that might just I like be dogs. Me, but... No, I like dogs. I love those two. Both of them are great. I actually got a shiny Rockruff in a um one of the Pokemon. I forget which one. Might have been Sword. That's awesome. Yeah. So it, he's blue, which is crazy. Like a navy blue. Mm. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, well I did I did defeat everybody in that area. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still yeah. going. Um I got these fishermen to take care of that you took care of on your way here. That I did not. So I'm tr I'm trying to think if there's any other decent place for me to go. Well that could, that could help me. We always have the Grand Underground. It's an option. I would have to look up the levels to know that we're not jumping into something that we can't get out of. Um, yeah. But that is always an option. We have not utilized that yet. We want to get more levels on the Bronzong and the Garchomp and whatever else we need to get levels on. We can do that. Um, that's probably our best bet, honestly. I mean, there's a few other things like Route 221 we can do with the house. I don't know how far you got in Route 221. Um, but there's a few other things. I don't think I got that far in 221. Maybe not 221. I forget the name of it. I think not. That sounds right. Yeah, no, 221. No, yeah. it, was, it was 221. Yeah, that's right. So that's an option. I mean, you can even head down there now if you want, because I, I got a few more trainers to go through here. Yeah, I think I'll think i I'll, I'll head down there now. Because I no. feel like, it, even though Grand Underground is an option... We're so late into this that there's a part of me that's like, I don't know if I even want to use it. Yeah, well, the good thing is we get encounters there based on our, our method that we'll go over if we do it in this run or not. Um, and they'll be high level. So, like, it's not true. the worst. It's not the worst. Um, so we'll I mean, that get also might not things. be the worst option as... If we do end up getting a ground type or something like decently bulky, yeah, I feel like that could be effectively pretty useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, potentially, very potentially. Um, also, which which route was it? Uh, it's or... underneath uh, Sand Gem Town. I'm pretty sure. Well, Not no, I'm there. Part. I was just gonna say for um. For Pokemon encounters. Oh, good call. Uh, 220. 220. Yeah, so... Let okay. me you get. I have a Wingle on that route already, but I think you already have a Wingle, so it's fine. Yeah. Well, because I got, I got something on 221, so I figured I would check. Um, try to I'm repel if you that. can, yeah. because I think we said Super Rod was best there. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm currently in uh, 221, and I have, a, I have a Tentacle in 221. Yeah, yeah, 221, we're set. Yeah, so that's that's why I was checking. But yeah, I, I already got two here. Because I think I think 220, we ba I basically couldn't get anything else for the most part. Um, There's one thing you can get uh, by surfing, I'm pretty sure. So just be careful. I, I remember us having that conversation. Because you initially okay. skipped 220, I believe, without encountering anything. And yeah. um, then I looked it up and we we're like, oh, we can get like a Chin Chow or something like that. Which would be really useful. Uh, but also, yeah, it'll be a low level, so it's up to you. How you want to deal with it? Yeah. Oh, I'm already in 221, so. Yeah, yeah those trainers are decent. I'm not that concerned. Mm hmm. Oh, I did not expect him to go from, like, a level 20 to a level 30. Yeah. I remember them being, like, somewhat decent. I mean, that's nothing fine, game-changing. I just, I just threw in Snover. 
and it's it's a finion, so yeah, it has water absorb, so well, obviously, you know, they gave her water to move on. I just used razor leaf. Oh, yeah, he's a grass type. Yeah. That is fair, that is fair. Fisher Brett. Did we say Brett was a, a skier name? Uh, I think I said that. I think so. Yeah, that sounds familiar. It's just he's not a fisher. No, I disagree. Disagreed. Yeah. Oh, I didn't switch out. Or almost didn't switch out. Cool. Even bad. So it's oh, just okay. a weak little side deck. That's fine. Okay, well, good Good thing I left in Snover, but also uh, dealing with Whirlpool, so that's fun. Yeah. Uh, Sounds fun. What does Ingrain do? It heals you, um, I think, every turn, but it doesn't let you switch out. That's fine, because I'm also currently dealing with Whirlpool, so I can't switch out anyway. Oh, frick. Okay. Well, I'm just going to have to hope that Ingrain is better than the Whirlpool. Well, uh, it's probably about the same. Because it's also... But it hits so much. Okay. I'm going to heal. Counter's nice. It would it would really suck if I if I ended up losing this. Our trick is useful, but it's niche. God, Counter. sir, stop! Stop hitting me with whirlpool, please. It's it's like a move he keeps using, and then I'm hit by the after effect of whirlpool at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Which I guess is fine, but like it's like ugh. <laughs> Uh, both Icy Wind and... Well, it'll... Icy Wind will at least lower the speed stat. Oh, Sounds no. Right, he... yeah. Okay. So it has Rain Dance as well. Oh, yikes. Uh, okay, will... Whirlpool, Waterfall, and Rain Dance. I don't know what the other one is, though. Could not tell you. Not a Finian expert, unfortunately. Well, this one's a Gyarados. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, the Finian just died. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, you know, I should be fine with Gyarados. Like, Ice Grass. You know, it's probably not that much higher. I might be Ice Fang. Mm. That sounds familiar, but I don't know. Because I, I, I fought that trainer too. Um, When I went on Route 221, that was like, nope, these are too high level when we went there initially. But now they're probably not as bad. Yeah, now, now it's not too bad, but I, fi I figured I would just keep in my one Pokemon anyway. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, I'm just gonna have to... Well, it should... Yeah, Razor Leaf should be enough to kill here. Yeah, probably. Good, it was. He was in the red, so we were fine. Good enough. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's not even open. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, did you go to, uh, to... Oh, you have Storm Drum, Jesus. Uh, did you go to 221? I did. I'm quite disappointed by it. Quite disappointed by it. Uh, let me throw up Moira. I can probably take care of this Ace Trainer. Okay, you know what? This is just a wild Pokemon. I'm just going to run from it. Staravia. Wow, you don't even have a star after. I mean, I don't at the moment either. Um, in my party, at least. But... Oh, x Scissor. Okay. I mean, Bug-type move is not going to currently help me, but at least I think it's a Bug-type. Dude, what move. if... What if this guy's Pokemon are, like, two that you lost? Because one's a Staravia. The, the Ace Trainer Jake. Let me see. That'd be so amazing. Giraffic, no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> okay. That would've been cool, though, right? It was like that and, like, a... 
like a float soul or something. Yeah. That would have been like, wow. Alternate universe or something. Are there are there alternate ways to get Earthquake? Or is it just that one TM? It seems like it was just the one TM, so. Dang. Um I would imagine there's like a battle point system, like in the newer ones, where like you exchange battle points on that you get online for TMs and things. Um mm. but otherwise probably not. Yeah, because what I what I currently have can't, and I don't. I would assume the other stuff that I have wouldn't. Now I could see Machop learning or Machamp learning it because mm. of the forearm thing. Maybe. I wouldn't be shocked if he couldn't though. I mean, that's like it's a stretch, but honestly, at this point, with how weird Pokemon has been. Mm hmm. Like, sometimes they have logic, and then other times oh. it's like, oh no, we just felt like having it this way. Dude, I knew it. What did you know? I, I used the Gabite a little bit. Just to, like, test it out or whatever, because I, 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 I've just been switched to it the whole time. It's got a negative attack um, nature. Oh, Oh my god, I thought I thought you were about to say I finally switched in to use it and I killed it. No. That's honestly what, it's what you were about to say. Ah, uh, it's so much weaker than I thought it was though. Dang. Man, that's disappointing. Cause like I was like using it on like a Shellos. And I, I used like Bulldoze on like a level like fifteen lower level Shellos and it did not one shot. And I was like, okay, that is weird. Um, which is, it's neutral, so it's like, whatever. But like, it's unevolved Pokemon, you know, all this stuff. And then I checked, just now, and, um, yeah. Not the best, not the best. Here's what I'm, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, for, for team-wise. So, I'm thinking the Barboach one, switching that back out with the Luxray combo. Mm -hmm. And then maybe just keeping in the Snover one, because at this point we don't really have anything that's that's going to be switching. This is the moment where fate determines how far how farther we go with this. Yeah. If we beat this gym with what we got, right? Um, we took out Staraptor and Buy a Barrel. I can at least actively use the onyx if they do use an electric type move i can still actively use it to maybe do some more damage anyway mm. yeah i'm fine with that because the onyx is... comes to shove. i i i suppose i mean i think either way that it would have to be like a sacrifice type of play um like if we need something to switch into just for yeah. it to die like, we at least have it. We have that option, right? Because you said, you, you mentioned that some things are going to probably die here. So let's yeah. let's kill a pair that is less powerful to us. Like, to be if we had trades on, I would say this Riolu Onyx pair is good, but we don't. So at the end of the day, I just don't think it's that good. Um, so if we yeah. need to go into that, we can. Because basically what will happen is it'll see, oh, I can use an Electro-type move on, let's say, Gyarados is it, for example. Right. So Gyarados is in. Use an electric move. The next turn, they ask to use an electric move, at least. You can switch into that Onyx. That Onyx will completely be immune to it, and then you can heal up whatever you need to. So, like, that's the that's the idea around it. Yeah. Because if I don't have Gastrodon, I'm, I'm in a tight pickle, too. But I think we crossed every turn to get there. All right, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.